Hello, this is Ike from Spot Home London and today we are in North London. We are in the Turnpike Lane area as we're about a seven minute walk away from the Turnpike Lane station with the Piccadilly Line. Now in the surrounding area we also have a number of restaurants and there's a local supermarket like literally right outside the door, two minute walk away. There's a bus stop right here. So as for the location, it's absolutely fantastic. But today I'm going to be showing you a six bedroom house and we're going to be seeing one of them. So let's go ahead and check it out. So here is the front door area. We have the two front doors and this one just leads to the street. So the street will look like this. So we can see it's a residential area. It's uh, a number of houses along the street. And then as we step inside of the house, the front entrance looks like this. We have the steps to the right lead up to a number of bedrooms as well as the bathroom. First bedroom right here on the left. It's occupied so we won't be seeing it. Radiator. And then we have the wood floor that leads all the way down to the kitchen area to the right. And here is bedroom number two, also not occupied at, or unoccupied at the moment. So here we have an outdoor area to the left. It's an outdoor corridor. And to the right we'll have a shower. So it's not a complete bathroom. We just have the shower and then hooks on the back of the door. The next room will be a living room area or dining room area, however you wish to see it. So we have the couch on the left, a number of chairs, chest of drawers with the radiator behind it. And then we have a dining room table here with a few chairs. So here's the outdoor area. It's sheltered, but it's still outdoors. We'll see it just in a moment. Here we have two fridges. So we have a number of, a lot of space for storage when it comes to your food. Next we'll have a laundry area, which has two washing machines, as well as a shelving area, and then a window to the kitchen. So it's very, very well lit, as the outdoor corridor has windows and lets in a lot of sunlight. So this is the outdoor corridor that I was speaking of. So let's just go all the way down to see. So this is the door that we saw inside the corridor by the shower. So outside here we'll have this table and that leads to the kitchen. A number of appliances here we have two four burner stoves making it 18 total. And then we have the two ovens underneath so we can do a lot of cooking here. The sink, we have some cupboards to allow for additional storage. Down below we also have some cabinets and on top we have a lot of counter space for prep work when you're cooking. Outside here we'll have the garden. It's very cozy. We have a chair to the right, a shed back here, and then the view from this side is something like this. So just around we can see the neighbouring houses, and then of course the one we are seeing today. Now, next we'll go upstairs, where we will find the bathroom as well as the bedroom, which we're going to see. So up these steps, the first room, in fact, in front of us will be bedroom number three. We won't be seeing that, that's occupied. So let's just see around here. So there's just a wall and the bathroom. So this bathroom features the tub, as well as a shower, a window to allow for some natural light, and then the mirror. So this is what it looks like. And then inside the shower, or the bathtub, it's like this. 
So it's separate from the toilet. So in this room we just have the toilet, the window, and then we have the light up above. On the door we also have a hook. And then finally up these half steps, to this corridor area to the left, we'll have a storage unit. And then bedroom number four, five, and then six. We're gonna be seeing bedroom six today. Wonderful bedroom. Features the double bed along the wall. A window that reaches all the way to the ceiling that allows for a lot of sunlight. And we can just see the outside corridor right here and then the neighboring garden. As we pan around, we can see some storage in the corner next to the nightstand, right in front of the radiator. So we're definitely gonna have some heating in here. Down below we have the desk, built-in wardrobe in that corner, and standalone in this one. So standalone has the shelving up above, and then the part for you to hang your clothes down below. As for the built-in, it's a bit shallower, but we still have the space for you to hang your clothes and maybe store some brooms and dustpans. On the door we'll have some hooks as well as a mirror. Up above we can see we have some storage as well there too. So let's just get one last pan of this room. And that's been it. So I hope you've enjoyed this house. For more information make sure to check out spothome.com. Bye-bye.